guys, it's your girl Hey Paris here, and I know I said story time Saturday and Saturday past, and they was the, they, 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 there wasn't no story time, but that's because this week has been a really, really busy week for me, so I decided to make the story time on Tuesday instead because I had a lot of things to do, so I apologize for that. I'm also going to be working really hard on giving you guys videos almost every day this entire month, again, like I did last month, but I have some big things in store, some big projects projects ahead for this channel for summer and I'm super excited you guys just have to wait a little bit because it's still in the making but I got you guys I got you guys the glow up to this channel is going to be real okay so today's story time is about the time that I ran away from the police when I was like 12 years old so um you know it's 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 not as bad as it might sound you guys just gotta listen to the story uh Okay, let, let me just get started. So today I'm going to tell you about the uh, Am I screaming? I'm yelling. So today I'm going to tell you about the story when I ran away from the police at the age of 12, okay? Now listen, you got to listen to the whole story before you even like assume anything, okay? Let me tell you what happened. So every day after school, I used to go to my friend's house and my friend had an older brother. He was probably at the time, I want to say, uh... 15, 16, 17, something like that. And being the curious 12 year old that I was, we used to always go into his room and just like scavenge around in his stuff and just look through his stuff without his permission. So one day we went in his drawer and we found like an entire drawer filled with baggies and like those little paper thingies that people use to smoke marijuana. So I didn't know it at the time because I was 12 years old, I didn't know nothing. So I asked my friend, I'm like, what are these for? And she was like, oh, those are what my brother uses to smoke marijuana. And I was like, what? So for whatever reason, I grabbed a baggie, one of the little baggies that he had, and I grabbed the paper and I was like, I want these. And I put them in my back pocket. The next day, <laughs> Going to school, I was like, for whatever reason, in my little 12 year old mind, I was like, let me bring these papes and these baggies and bring them to school and show my friends how cool I am. So that's what I did. I went to school with the baggie and the papes in my hand and I was like, I'm the coolest girl in school. So it's recess time now and I go meet up with my friends under a big tree in my school that we used to call Big Bubba. So we're chilling under Big Bubba and we're playing these little stupid games. Like as a kid, you used to play some dumb games. Like if you take it in, I remember we used to play S Club. Do you guys remember what S Club is? They're like a, a singing group of like boys and girls and they had a song called S Club. Ain't no party like an S Club party. Oh, no, nope. y'all remember that? You guys are probably too young to remember S Club, but we used to always pretend we were S Club. We used to pretend we were Britney Spears. We used to make up dance choreographies and all of that. But for whatever reason, during this recess, we were playing some game show thing. So one of my friends was like the game show host asking the questions, and then we have to tap the floor whenever you get the answer right or you know the answer and you want to say that you know the answer or whatever. So we're playing that game, and then after a ball went off in my head, like bing. I was like, now is the perfect moment to show them how cool I am. I went in my back pocket and I took out the papes and the baggie. And I was like, guys, look at this. Look what I have. Okay. Huh? And we're all young. We don't know anything. So they're all like, what is that? What does that do? Like, what is it for? I was like, I don't know, but my friend said that her older brother uses it to smoke marijuana. What? Anyways. So everyone was fascinated. Everyone was like, oh my gosh, let me see, can I touch? Oh my gosh, what is this for? Like little 12 year olds do. <laughs> and then one of my friends was like, hey guys, let's all pick out some grass out of the floor and put it in the bag. Ah. So that's what we did. We all picked up grass and we stuffed it in the bag. The bell rang, I put it all back in my pocket, went to class like ain't nothing happened before, okay? After class now, I normally go to the convenience store by my house and I buy chips and candy and stuff like that with the money that I got for lunch or whatever. And as I'm walking to the convenience store, I see two cop cars in the parking lot. So I was like, <sighs> walking by them because I thought that I had committed a crime. Oh good. I really thought I had committed a crime. I thought I was like number one on America's Most Wanted. I thought I was going to jail for like 20 years to life. I was thinking to myself like, am I gonna get parole if they catch me? 
Am I gonna be on house arrest after I go to jail? Like, what's gonna happen? What, what is gonna happen? I need to know. Because my little 12 year old self is scared, okay? Scared, okay? So I walk past them and I'm sweating bullets. I go inside the store, I buy my candy, my food, whatever, and I'm walking back out and they're still out there. I pass them and I'm like, okay, I'm in the clear. I'm in the sirens just going off. Sirens just going off. I look behind me, their little lights are flashing and they're pulling up towards where I'm walking. So I'm like, oh no, I gotta go. I dropped the face and I dropped the bag of grass. Yes, grass and I was giddy gone. I'm talking about I ran like I was running for my life. I ran like there was a murderer behind me. I ran so fast and keep in mind, I was the lead runner in my track team, so I was gone. There ain't no way those police was gonna catch me. Ran into my building, didn't have a key or nothing, so I'm banging on the door and I open, someone open the door, I gotta go. A lady opens the door, I only say thank you to her. I just jet past her, go up the stairs into my house, okay? Once I'm upstairs into my house, I go out the balcony, I'm looking to see if the police are there. There ain't no police. I really did think that the police were after me for having papes and a bag of dead grass. <clears throat> I was horrified, I was so scared. I really thought I was going to jail that day. Anyways. <laughs> That's my mini story about the time that I ran away from the police when I was a little girl. I'm pretty sure I was 12. I'm, I, I think I was 12. I was around that age. You already know me. I don't know my ages and stuff like that when I tell these stories. It's always around that age range, okay? And since this was a mini story time, you guys already know I got you tomorrow. I'm coming back at you with another story time. It's going to be the story time about the time that all of the people in my high school wanted to fight me and they called me a snitch and all of that. I'm going to tell you guys the reason why they all hated me, okay? I just wanted to get this video out for you guys really quick because I promised you a story time today. Leave a comment down below and let me know if anything like this ever happened to you. I love reading your stories. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. I gotta tell you twice. And I'll see you guys tomorrow on the flip side. Bye guys.